While Carmelo Anthony is trying to work his way back into the league, his son Kyan is starting to get attention of his own on the court. It's been a big summer basketball wise for the young guns, so let me bring you some positivity from the Anthony household before I go back to the Carmelo Anthony back and forth. What's going on, FOMO fam? It's your boy Chris, but you can also find me over on my YouTube channel, CK2K. Make sure you subscribe right here, though, and then hit that notification bell, and don't forget to like this video. Now, by now, it's no surprise where my allegiance lies when it comes to Carmelo Anthony in the NBA, but I want to put all that on hold just for a few seconds to shine some attention on his son, Kyan, who is finally coming into his own as a hooper. As a Knicks fan, back when Melo was on the squad, we would see Kyan doing halftime one-on-ones or the shooting contest, but it wasn't set in stone that he'd want to follow his pop's footsteps and play basketball. Well, now the 12-year-old is starting to come into his own and workout videos of his own are starting to surface in the same gym Hoodie Melo was born a few summers ago. Check out the young gun. Boy out there looking like his pops offensively. You see that little post fade? Okay, Kyan. Now, this isn't the first video to go viral of Kyan this summer. About a month ago, Kyan hit a clutch game winner that got the whole Anthony fam lit. Kyan played in the USBA National Tournament this past July, and this is one of the biggest youth basketball tournaments in the nation. All the top teams in the US compete in the five-day tournament, and Kyan's team made it to the sixth grade championship championship game. Thanks to his late game heroics, the team took the chip and mommy and daddy were front row and center for their son's heroics. Check it out. Yo, Lala was so hyped, she didn't even know what to do with herself. That boy might have the clutch gene early. A lot like somebody else that I feel like people forgot about. And that's his pops, Melo. Carmelo Anthony has been the talk of the NBA world all offseason. And as we approach media day in a few weeks, the future Hall of Famer has yet to be signed. Back in 2017, Carmelo Anthony was traded away from my Knicks due to a disagreement between him and then Knicks president Phil Jackson, who was also later let go. Or, excuse me, he decided to resign. Melo then played one season with the Thunder where the team was bounced in the first round. Then the following season, Melo started the year in Houston where he only lasted 10 games before being traded away and then bought out leading to Melo missing the remainder of last season. Now we are approaching the new NBA season and no team has officially called for his services and people are 50-50 on how they feel about the future of Carmelo Anthony. Earlier this week, ex-NBA player and current Big 3 Hooper Royce White spoke out on Melo being blackballed by the league and called out Melo's good friend LeBron for not having his back. Well, according to LeBron's one-time teammate Kendrick Perkins, there may not be much LeBron could do to get Melo a job. Perkins pointed out the instance in Cleveland where Braun went to the front office to try and bring in Melo when the Cavs straight up told him, nah fam, we good. Perkins tweeted, man, Braun told the Cavs he wanted Melo and the Cavs said no to him. Well then, the disrespect continues. And to make matters worse, Stephen A also further confirmed that coaches and front office members are smearing Melo's name behind the scenes. He said this yesterday on ESPN's first take. From what I'm hearing, and I've been hearing this all morning, I'm hearing that there's chitter chatter going on behind Melo's back. It's not players, it's coaches, it's GMs. And a lot of people don't realize that sometimes these coaches and GMs have the same reps as one another. So one person could say something and it can circulate because that click is intact. Now I've been open and still believe Melo should be on a roster, but the one thing I will agree with is teams 
fear of adding the headache that comes with Carmelo Anthony on their roster. Now, not from him exactly, but the media circus surrounding him. Say Melo did get signed over Dudley for the Lakers, and Frank only played him for 12 minutes that night, and he finished with five points. Regardless if the Lakers win or not, the questions will be, why didn't Melo play? Or is he mad he's not getting minutes? So I get the fear most of these teams have signing him. But what do you guys think? Is it something else? Let me know in the comments below. It's been your boy Chris. I'm going to catch you guys in the next video. I'm out.